It's a familiar sight in central New York. The plume of water vapor rising from the 543-foot cooling tower at Nine Mile Point Nuclear Station. But few people get a chance to look inside the plant on the shore of Lake Ontario. Due to strict rules and tight security required by the presence of nuclear fuel, plant operations are hidden behind concrete walls five feet thick. Nine Mile Two, the larger of the station's two reactors, shut down recently to load new uranium fuel. The refueling must be done every two years to sustain the nuclear reaction that keeps the plant running. The outage brought 1,500 extra workers to the plant to do the refueling and conduct maintenance that can only be done while the plant is offline. The outage also provided a rare opportunity to see inside a strange looking world. All workers pass through tight security and radiation monitoring on their way into the plant. Workers also wear dosimeters to record exposure to radiation. Depending on how heavy the radiation is where they are working, the pager-like devices might be monitored continuously by a technician in another part of the plant. From a control room, the radiation technician watches those workers on cameras. Dressed head to toe in protective suits and breathing filtered air, the workers do maintenance on a big valve in the dry well, the concrete structure that surrounds the reactor. If one of the decimeters on those employees reaches 80% of the maximum allowed, that worker would be ordered to leave the area. Workers can also frisk themselves at hallway stations if they've been in a contaminated area. During the outage, the heavy concrete floor around the reactor is removed by an overhead crane, like massive pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. This gives workers access to the reactor. The 21-foot wide head of the reactor is unbolted and set aside so workers can get inside. When the reactor is running, the nuclear reaction creates heat that boils water to make steam. During the outage, control rods are inserted between the nuclear fuel bundles to stop the reaction. The reactor vessel is flooded to the top as a further shield against radiation. The oldest of the 14-foot long fuel rods inside the reactor, which have been inside for six years, are lifted out and moved underwater through a narrow chute into the spent fuel pool, where they will remain for another six years or so. Then new fuel bundles are moved into the reactor vessel. It's an intricate dance designed by company engineers to produce the optimum performance of the reactor and fuel more than one million homes.